Welcome to another SafeShares app podcast and this time around I got so many questions about the new Alien Dalvik for the Sony Xperia XA2 that I want to show you how you can install some Google apps. Yeah, usually I would say just install native other alternatives just like if you need a map app just install Pure Maps or something like this. But uh, in this case people just simply wanted to, for example install Google Maps so here we are and I will show you how to install Google Maps. First of all, there are two things you need to get. You need to get the Fdroid store. You can go to fdroid.org. Uh, F-droid.org, as you can see here. And here you have a big fat download button. Download the APK, just install it, and then you have Fdroid. This is a free open source software store for Android, and this runs pretty nice also on the Alien Dalvik, especially as most of the applications there are not depending on the Google Play services. But some applications, just like Google Maps or other applications need some kind of Google Play services or at least some of the services to run successfully. So what you can do is just simply install a free and open source alternative to the Google Play services, to most of them at least, and this is called MicroG. So let's go to the MicroG website, microg.org. And on the microg.org website, you will find, uh, first of all, what this is all about. And then you have several services, just like Services Core and Services Framework Proxy. These are basically the two services that we need to install in the Android side of things, in the Yell and Dalvik side of things. And they provide a nice um, repository for Fdroid. So let me go to download. I think I should have it here. Why is the download button not working? Oh, it's working. So the Fdroid repository, and what you need to do here is just add this address. So what I do is just simply copy this address here, and then I will open up a new node, because you will notice that this address also not only consists of the uh, URL itself, but also a fingerprint, and this doesn't work, at least it did not work for me. So what I have to do here is just simply remove the fingerprint stuff, and then just copy this address here. And then I will go to the Fdroid store. I will go to settings, um, package um, repositories, and then I will simply add this URL in here. And then the fingerprint is the second thing that you need to do. And then copy just simply the fingerprint and add it as well. And in the end, it should look like this microg Fdroid repository activated. And uh, should, there shouldn't be any error messages in there. Maybe you need to wait for it to refresh. You can also go to uh, this bell and then manually refresh the package sources. And then what you have to do is go to the main page and search for microg. And then you can find microg services core, install this. And after you have installed micro, uh, microg services core, search for microg framework. And then you find the microg services framework, install this as well. The next step you have to take is just go into your drawer and click on the microg settings and on the first start it will give you a, a pop-up notification here and if you click on it it will um, ask you to give it permissions to basically everything on your system and you have to accept everything otherwise it won't work so the next thing is to install google maps you can either just download the APK file from from somewhere or go to the store, so Aptoid store that you can get from the Yola store and search for Google Maps, for example. Google Maps, just let me search for maps. For uh, 
Maps, Google Maps, and then just install this version. And as you can see here, I have it installed already. And if I execute it, you can see that it's running completely fine. So this is a way how to get Google Maps working and other applications working that rely on some parts of the Google Play services. I personally would say use Pure Maps or something else, but yeah, if you need Google Maps, you can get it to run this way. And also I think some other applications with the MicroG framework. Hope you enjoyed this little demonstration and yeah, thanks for watching.